there's no question as to whether actual trigger time is more beneficial than just pretending. Even even shooting professionals need their trigger time if they want to maintain their skill. So the same thing translates to an actor. They can learn it, but until they apply it, it basically means nothing. So the live fire events are um, finally getting their toes wet in the realm of military realism. Everyone lock your slides to the rear. The live fire event that I attended, I wasn't really sure what to expect. You can go all day showing this is what a weapon is, this is how you hold it, this is how it functions. But until they can get to the range and actually put real bullets down the range, they can't fully appreciate the power behind a weapon. It's kind of a no bullshit situation because you're dealing with live firearms and you're dealing with uh, multiple ways to kill people. Everything was handled really safely, which is priority number one for me. It really taught me how to respect the destructive power of that kind of weapon. You know, if we're gonna put our own lives on the line with these actors so they can get some trigger time, it's pretty essential that we instill some safety in them. Weapons are no joke. At the end of the day, I felt very comfortable, very safe in the environment. You have to break into them and tell exactly, you know, how realistic this actually is. And there's no bullshit about it. But simply owning a gun and having shot it does not mean you can shoot. You know, especially in, in any kind of dynamic environment, multiple targets, um, having to reload, you know, that something that requires speed and efficiency. How it starts off is that David and Mitch will set the weapons up, they give you a vest, they give you a, a drop leg, and they will drill you for 20, 30 minutes about proper etiquettes at a live firing range and what to do for safety first. When somebody hands you a gun, how to clear it to make sure there's not a bullet in the chamber and the magazine's clear too before you physically, as a shooter, put your own bullets into your own uh, clip or magazine. Rebuilding that confidence before we throw them to the wolves and let them shoot some stuff. And then we kind of very slowly worked our way up to just doing some dry fire uh, training to live fire and then eventually to firing while on the move. The bullet exchange instructions and training was very intense. Uh, I felt like it was an environment that you could actually walk away with a lot of training. There was a, a huge variety of weapons that, that we were trained on, which was awesome. So it's not like, hey, everybody gets this one particular pistol and knows how to use it. So we had several weapons. Well, we bring all the toys for our live fire. 308s, AK-47s. Um, they brought out their handguns, uh, 45s, 9mm, USP-40. We bring a couple M4s, we bring all of our pistols. It's a lot of the weapons I had never handled before, like an AK-47. They have a wide variety of weapons that they get to play with. One of the things that actors need to do is they need to simulate muzzle recoil. You can't really assimilate unless you've actually shot a real gun. Because every weapon feels different. Um, every recoil feels different. And for an actor to properly portray just even this simple thing as a recoil, unless you fired one, you wouldn't know the difference. Giving an actor as much trigger time as they can on all of these different weapon systems gives them a better understanding of how different weapons are going to react. I think this kind of training is very important and if, if you're an actor I would hope that you would want to go through this rigorous type of training. If you haven't really had the training, I don't think that you're going to be able to fully respect that destructive power of that weapon. And so when they're given a prop on set, they translate that same level of respect to that prop weapon. So when you get on set, you're, you're well versed and you look comfortable with a gun on film. When you get done doing a live fire, you feel like a man. That's the best way to put it, dude. Dude, this is fun. A really eye-opening experience. It's a good experience. They're just invaluable experiences that I can take with me to set. I learned quite a bit from Bullet Exchange and uh, I think their diversity has a far reach. <laughs>